the uh, the award you're up for, the NHL Foundation Award, is, is a little bit different than a lot of other awards, and it, it's probably more personal to you that you're being recognized for a lot of the charitable stuff that, that you're involved in. Yeah, it is really special. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm definitely honored to be uh, the nominee, and I, I, mean, I know so many people do a lot of great things in the league, and, you know, hockey players are known for being charitable, so to be recognized is, is pretty cool and um, definitely something I'll, I'll cherish and you know, hopefully I can win some. Pretty much just getting the nomination has got to be a thrill in itself, whether whether you take home the, the final trophy or not. Yeah, no, absolutely. Anytime you're nominated, it's it's definitely special to be recognized. And uh, you know, Our team has done a great job this year and um, the organization, the Preds Foundation, uh, getting guys involved and feeling part of the community and they deserve, you know, obviously a lot of Credit, you know, as well. The the move you made from from Ottawa to Nashville, it, it seems to fit you perfectly with uh, everything that you got going. Is uh, is it something that you really really appreciated it career wise? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been fun. I've enjoyed the community and getting involved, and um, you know every part of it. It's uh, it, the transition was was very easy, and, and uh, it's been. Looking back at the season now, a, a, a month after it's over, we all kind of ended unexpectedly. What, what are your thoughts looking back at the way things ended? Still, you know, disappointed. Um, thought we, you know, we had definitely had a chance. And um, with that being said, it was a fun year. We we had a great season. And, um, you know, we uh, you know, we worked real hard, and it wasn't our year, but that's going to make us hungry for next year and to be better. And, you know, it's really hard to win, and, and we know that. But you know, we got a, a good young team that feels going to get better and better. Going forward to the next year, I was looking on the odds boards and everything, and the Predators are kind of a lot further up to the top than they have been in the past. Is that going to be harder to kind of sneak up on the competition, or? Well, we know the expectations, uh, you know, are going to be higher than they were this year, and, and, uh, and we expect a lot of it ourselves. We feel like we got a team that can really compete. Um, you know, be good for a long time, and you know, hopefully we can, we can do that. So. Have you gotten any indication from David that how who will be coming back, or or how aggressive he's going to be in the free agent market? Uh, we we've talked a little bit, but um, you know he's going to make the right moves he sees fit when the time comes, and hopefully we can get guys signed that need to be signed here soon, and um, you know that that'll be obviously number one priority. And, you know, David does a good job of being patient and making the right move when the time comes. So. Have you been lobbying any for uh, Ryan to come back with him? Yeah, trying. <laughs> trying. How's that working out? We'll see. I don't know. I, I, we're hoping. So. Get a big smile on yourself. Do it anything uh, special? No, just <laughs> I haven't really lobbied that hard, but you know, throughout the year a little bit. But we, uh, we all obviously they want him back. He's a huge part of our team, and um, we're hoping that he. You know, signs and stays for a long time. So, what specifically do you do it? Because you don't want to be like harassing the guy, or you don't want to make him feel bad. You know, but at the same time, you want to let him know, like, hey man, like stick around. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we ultimately know he's going to make a decision that's best for him and what you know he feels is is best. And um, you know, I had a number of conversations with him this year. And, um, you know, he, he does love Nashville. And, you know, he, he wants to you know, he wants to be in a place where he thinks he can win and, and uh, I think he's in a perfect situation in Nashville. He's kinda of a little bit under the radar. He's not huge on a ton of media and attention and um, so hopefully that'll happen. But he's gonna do you know, it's his right. He'll do what's best for him and and uh, we'll see. That's not an easy decision, for sure. I mean, it's a tough decision. It's he's going to sign a long-term deal, and you know you're in a place for a long time, and uh, you know, so it's, I'm sure it's, it's not easy for him. So. It's still not a bad position to be in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all relative. <laughs> Looking at your situation long term, or are you wanting to stay in Nashville and finish your career there? Yeah, I mean, I, I love it there. It's, it's been fun, and ultimately, I, I do I want to win, and I feel like I got a good chance there and going forward. But we'll see when the time comes. I still have a year left, and um, you know that'll take care of itself. And uh, yeah, but hopefully, I can stay. Thank you.